Hello everyone, this is the Green Snake Gamer playing Scooby-Doo, Mystery Mayhem, Episode 3, Weird Wild West, Part 1. I see. No, just stay where you are and await further instructions. Sabrinsky's been caught. The fool! I always knew he was the weak link. Any news from Peabody? As far as I know, he hasn't told the police anything. Then we move on with the plan. Where are we off to now, Freddy? The Gold Mountain Western Theme Park. Groovy! You hear that, Scoob? Before you know it, we'll be eating Western chili and Western barbecue. Western omelets? Western omelets? Sure thing, pal. <laughs> it turns out that the same creepy guy who was trying to buy the Milton Brothers movie studio was also trying to buy Gold Mountain. Let me guess. Their property is also being haunted by monsters? Yep. Someone there must have pages from the Tome of Doom as well. More monsters? Well, their plan worked. I'm scared. Let's go back. Uh -huh. Well, if you chicken out, that means no Western-style barbecue. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Chicken, chicken barbecue. barbecue. <laughs> Howdy, I'm Johnny Chenayapatra, and I want to personally welcome you all to Gold Mountain. Jeepers, this is some ghost town you have here, Mr. Chenayapatra. Dad, blast it! This ain't supposed to be no darn ghost town! It's supposed to be a rustle and bustle and western theme park. Can I help it if all the darn monsters keep scaring away the folks? Don't worry, sir. We'll get rid of all your ghostly problems. I'd be much obliged, Padna. See, I put all of my life savings into this doggone place. What about your employees? They are all gone except for one. Oh, here she comes. Allow me to introduce my only faithful employee, Mindy Stiles. She plays bit parts in the Wild West show, as well as being security chief, accountant, marketing manager, and the best darn chef this side of the Rio Grande. Like did he say, chef? Scoob, old pal, I think I'm in love. <laughs> Uh, Mr. Chenaya Patra, I need you to sign some insurance papers. Ugh, blasted paperwork. Well, y'all just feel free to explore. All right, guys. We'll split up and look for clues. Shaggy, Scooby, you investigate the hotel. Hotel? Know what that means, Scoob? Room service! <laughs> Okay, let's get started and get to the bottom of this mystery. Our first objective is to investigate the hotel. Along the way, let's keep an eye out for the five clues we need to collect. We also need to collect another page from the Tome of Doom. And of course, we have our five sandwich ingredients we need to collect. Now in this room are two poltergeist enemies, so let's take care of them. Just swerve from side to side to avoid the stuff they throw. Okay, that's one. Now we need to get the one behind me. Try to always have the camera facing them, so it's easier to dodge their attacks. This takes care of the barrier blocking the door ahead of us. Now before we go through that door, let's fully charge the Tome of Doom. You always want to try to keep this thing fully charged. Now at the bottom of these stairs is a door, but it's locked. We can also go upstairs. And this door is locked. Let's try the other side. And guess what? Of course, this side is locked as well. So the only door we can go through is the one ahead of us in the center. Right next to the whisk generator. Wow! Look at all that food! Well, raw for me! All for you! 
Like this buffet room ain't big enough for the both of us, Scoob. It's time for a chow down showdown. Now this is just a little mini game. You can play as either Scooby or Shaggy. I'm gonna play as Scooby. Ready, red, roll. Now all you have to do is run around this room and collect food in order to score points. You want to get more points than Shaggy. Now every so often you'll have to burp. When that comes up, make sure to burp. Otherwise it will slow you down. And you need to be quick here to collect more food than Shaggy. So what you want to do is have more points by the time the timer runs out. Doing pretty good so far. We're way ahead of Shaggy. And that was easy. Like every mystery should be this fulfilling. Check it out, there's some barbecue sauce left. I'll uh, race you to an old Raggy? <laughs> okay, now we have another objective to find Shaggy. Looks like Shaggy ate too much and went right through the floor. So we need to get down there to find him. So what you need to do is head up these stairs. And go through this door. It's now unlocked. Okay, we have another objective. To follow the mysterious woman. Again, this is like a little mini game. Just pay attention to what door she goes into. What are you doing here? Make sure you pick the door she went in and not the ghost. Again, go back to your friend. Now each time it will get faster and faster. Don't get distracted by the ghosts and try not to blink. Leave me alone, you stupid dog. Okay, she's now at the top right. So you just want to pay very close attention. Okay, now she's at the bottom left. Get away from me. Okay, now she's at the bottom right. And this completes the objective, follow the mysterious woman. As you can see, this door leads to the other side. Here's the hole that Shaggy fell through. So now we can go down to the basement. Here's a lantern, make sure to pick that up. We'll need that for the dark. Here's a camera in case you want to save your game. And ahead of us is some fuel for the lantern. Now when you go into the dark, Scooby will automatically turn the lantern on, but it uses fuel, so you need to be quick. Down here are two ghosts, so let's quickly take care of them. Okay, that's one down. Where's the other one? There he is. Now you want to be quick here. Because the lantern is slowly running out of fuel. And you don't want it to run out. So let's collect some more fuel. And here's a whisk generator to fully charge the book. Okay, that was quick. It's fully charged. Here's some more fuel by the exit door. Over in the back here are some Scooby Snacks in case you need to heal. Now, we're not going to leave here yet. We need to find Shaggy. So go past the whisk generator and go left down this dark hallway. Gotta be quick here. Here's some more Scooby Snacks. Scooby and here's Shaggy. Are you all right? And this completes the objective, find Shaggy. Now we have another objective, get out of the basement. I'm hungry. Alright, let's collect the fuel for the lantern right here. And make sure to get on top of these boxes. 
because up here is our first sandwich ingredient, the barbecue sauce that Shaggy fell down here to get. Sure can't leave that behind. Scooby Doo! Raggy! Okay, now we just need to make it to that exit door. Okay, that was close. Almost ran out of fuel for the lantern. Okay, this completes the objective, get out of the basement, and completes the ob objective, investigate the hotel. So let's go through this door. Okay, we have another objective to explore Main Street. Okay, we got two enemies in this room, so let's take care of them. Luckily, there are two small ghosts, so this is gonna be easy. These enemies are the easiest to take care of. Okay, now take note of this piano. And go over to it. This gives us another objective, to solve the piano puzzle. You also want to take note of the clue above us on the balcony. We'll need to get up there to collect it. Don't go through the door yet, but if you look behind the counter, here's another clue. And on the counter here is a hint to that piano puzzle. Take note of it and remember it. So this is number one, and it's purple. Try to remember that. Now, as you can see, there's this hole right here that's preventing us from getting that clue, so let's head up the stairs. Now, as you can see, that barrel filled in the hole, so we can collect that clue, but first, go up the stairs and through this door. This leads us to the balcony, so we can collect this clue. This will be clue number one. A clue? Well done, partner! So clue number one is the Zabrinsky note. So let's head back through the door and head over and collect that other clue. This will be clue. clue number two. Better show it to Velma. So clue number two is a photograph. Okay, so that's everything in here, so now we can go out the door onto Main Street. Here we are introduced to a new enemy, the Dust Devil. We don't have the page of the Tome of Doom we need to take care of them, so what you want to do is just run away and avoid them. So just keep your distance, and try not to let them see you, or they'll chase after you. Okay, I think we lost him. Okay, here's a whisk to recharge the Tome of Doom. Now next to the train at the top here, is a camera, so you can save your game if you want. I'm not gonna do that. There's also a costume up here you can put on in order to walk past the Dust Devil without them noticing you or attacking. Now inside this carriage is our second sandwich ingredient, some bacon. So make sure to collect this. Now over here you can see there's a trail of Scooby Snacks. It leads to this door, but it's locked. We need the bank key in order to get in there. Here's another door, but it's locked. Now over here you can see these mine carts. We're stuck! Like if we had some soap, we could make it slide! Or a really large banana peel. Banana wheel? Like from a really large banana. Okay, you heard Shaggy, we need to find some soap.
Okay, there's that Dust Devil. Let's try to avoid him. At least he's on the other side. Now over here on the left is Velma. So let's show her the clues we've collected. Great. You found a clue. This is a note from Zabrinsky. It says, keep sending out monsters until C is ready to sell. This seems to be a photograph of Zabrinsky standing next to a saloon dancer. Now at the bottom here is another camera, so you can save your game. I'm not gonna do that. And over here is a door, and we need the minecart key in order to open it. So don't worry about it right now. We sure need a lot of keys in this area. Okay, I think I got away from the Dust Devil. Do you think this will work? I sure hope so, Scooby. That sure is a nice costume, Scooby. Okay, we just gotta wait for it to wear off. Over here, just past Come the bank, me, is a hole. You need Scooby to climb under it. And here's the soap we needed for those minecarts. <laughs> So go ahead and collect that. That'll come in handy later. Wait for the dust devil to go by. Scooby Doo! Okay, let's continue heading down. Right and here's another hole in the fence. I'll wait for you right here, Scooby. So use Scooby okay, to go under wacky. it. And behind here is another sandwich ingredient, some hot peppers. So this will be sandwich ingredient number three. Scooby-Doo! Okay, inside that carriage is just a wisp, so we don't have to worry about that. So let's go over here and go inside this door. Shaggy Scooby, am I happy to see you. Like, what happened, Fred? I was investigating the cell when a mysterious woman locked the door behind me. Daphne went to find Mr. Chania Patra, but she's been gone for a while now. Oh, boy! How can we get you out? There's a hole in the wall over there, but something's blocking it from the other side. Well, we'll be ready. Okay, now we have another objective to rescue Fred. Okay, inside the cell next to him is a key. Take note of that. And also take note on the table here. It's another hint to that piano puzzle. Number two, and it's orange. So again, try to remember that. Okay, now we can save Fred. All we need to do is use the soap here to move these minecarts. Thanks, guys. Why, no problem, Fred. Yeah, we're used to saving the day. Yeah. Here, I found this key in the cell. There's another one in there, but I couldn't quite reach it. All right, I'll go look for Daphne. Thanks, Fred. He gives us the bank key. This completes the objective, Rescue Fred. And I gotta tell you, that was a lot easier than rescuing Daphne or Scooby in Episode 2. Now you can go through the hole here. And now we're in Fred's cell. These bars look like they've been partially sawed off. Like we could finish the job if we had a saw. You heard Shaggy? We're gonna need a saw in order to get that key. Raggy! Scooby-Doo! Okay, so now that we have the bank key, we can go to the bank. Which is right here. Hey, looks like someone was trying to rob that safe. I wonder what's inside. Scooby snacks? Scooby snacks? Of course! We gotta find a way to open it! Okay, there are two poltergeists in this room, so let's take care of them. Wow, that was a large jump. I've never seen them jump before. Okay, that takes care of both of them. So use Scooby to crawl under here to get behind the counter. 
Now, over here is this door. We need a vault key in order to open it. So we can't go in there yet. Here's some Scooby Snacks in case you need to heal, but more importantly, take note of this last hint on the wall here. Number three and red. So now we have all the hints we need in order to solve the piano puzzle. So let's head back to the piano. So all you need to do is move the notes around and put them in the correct order. So you just gotta remember the hints. So the first one is purple. Number two is orange. And the last one here is red. And this completes the objective, solve the piano puzzle. And this gives us a key. And this is the minecart key. Alright, so now we need to get past the Dust Devil and head all the way to the bottom. I don't know where he is. Okay, there he is. Alright, we're past him. So you want to head all the way to the bottom. Here's another costume down here. If you want to use it to sneak past the Dust Devil. Okay, we have a new objective to dig out the minecart entrance. As you can see, it's blocked with dirt. But over here is the saw. Alright, so now we need to go back to the jail. So go around to the side where we rescued Fred. And use the saw to cut these bars. So now crawl under here, Scooby. And collect the key. Here's the vault key. There's so many keys in this area, it's crazy. You need a key for almost every door. So now we gotta head back to the bank. So we can use the vault key to open up this door to the safe. Let's collect the shovel. We'll need that. Now there's a safe here, but we don't know the combination to it yet. Just take note of that. Okay, now that we got the shovel, what we need to do is go back to the minecart entrance and dig it out. So let's use the shovel. Okay, this completes the objective, dig out the minecart entrance. Now, I highly recommend you do this. Save your game here. It's very important. And this will be the end of Scooby-Doo Mystery Mayhem Episode 3 Weird Wild West Part 1.